following is the National Weather Service forecast discussion from Anchorage, Alaska. This is for South Central, Southwest Alaska, this forecast discussion, National Weather Service, Anchorage. 5.21 a.m. Alaska Standard Time, Monday, December 11, 2023. Short-term forecast for South Central Alaska, days 1 through 3. A winter storm remains in progress across much of South Central Alaska. Later satellite imagery shows the deep, broad cyclone gradually shifting eastward across Southern Alaska. The attendant warm front with the cyclone is currently lifting through the Chugach Range, the Chugach Range, C H U G A C H, with the cold or the occluded front extending southward through the Kenai Peninsula. The atmospheric river behind the warm front of the system has brought a fetch of very warm, moist air from the North Pacific into the central Chugach eastward. A winter storm warning remains in effect for this area, specifically Thompson Pass and the adjacent area where two to three feet of snow is likely to be. The, is is likely will be the, by the time the system wraps up on Tuesday. Elsewhere, the PAHG and the PAIH radar shows mostly snowfall moving northward across the Kenai Peninsula into Anchorage and the Manson Valley. A rather strong downslope shadow on the west side of the Kenai and the Shugach Mountains has kept precipitation limited overnight, but later Latest radar trends show that this precipitation shadow is now diminishing as cross-barrier flow subsides. Snowfall in the vicinity of 1 to 2 inches is possible for the Kenai northward into Anchorage and the Mananuska Valley today, with locally higher amounts. Heavier snow is expected for the Susitna Valley, where another 6 to 10 inches is possible from Talkeetna north. For tonight and beyond, much of the forecast remains highly in flux. Models continue to mostly trend towards a more east solution for the next low, expected to lift northwest into the Gulf around the nearly stalled upper trough centered over the Alaska Peninsula. And this low should reach the coastline by Tuesday morning as it follows along a wavering frontal zone stretching over the Gulf. A near-continuous stream of moisture firing into the mainly eastern sections of the Gulf coastline will result in near-continuous snow. Low-level coastal rain for mountainous areas, near-continuous snow for mountainous areas, with blizzard conditions possible in susceptible areas such as Thompson Pass. A big forecasting challenge with this next system will be the degree of inland including much of the Copper Basin, the degree of inland precipitation, and the amount of warm air trying to filter into valleys that can cause some mixing with rain between Monday and Tuesday. This includes near the McCarthy and the uh, Chitinia. Farther west, out towards the Kenai Peninsula and Mattinson Valleys, the potential for additional snowfall past Monday morning has downtrended, with the majority of scenarios now reflected in this forecast package. The majority of scenarios are keeping this region mostly dry through Tuesday night. Yet another low pressure will join the parade of systems racing north and west and arcing north and west from the North Pacific on Wednesday morning. While details are again not clear-cut, it looks like there will be better chances this time around for light snow to spread back over to eastern parts of the Outlook area, while another batch of moderate snow, and again possible mixing with rain near the coast, another batch of moderate snow moves into the Prince William Sound and Copper River Basin. Stay tuned for the forecast and for more updates to come as this very active winter pattern continues. Short-term forecast for southwest Alaska. An amplified pattern continues over the Bering and southwest Alaska this morning with a deep upper low situated over the Alaska Peninsula. We're going to do this on a different episode. <laughs>